Hello, my name is Michael Lanasa, and I'm a technical writer for Forefront Online Protection for Exchange. This is the fourth and final video in my series introducing you to the Administration Center. Previously, we looked at the Information and Administration tabs. We'll start this video with the My Reports tab. Under the My Reports tab, you can create and view customizable reports that show historical message filtering summaries. I'll create a new report now. Notice that we can set the scope to include the entire company or a subset of your domains. I can also set the report to be emailed on a continual basis. We can now view the report in a new window. This report will not have any information in it since we have not yet implemented the hosted services in our organization. However, this should give you an idea about how the reports look and what type of information they can return. Let's head to the Tools tab, where we'll start on the Message Trace sub-tab. The Message Trace feature enables you to search for a specific message using some basic information to obtain the status of the message. Specifically, after running a trace, you can see whether the message was received by the Forefront Online Protection for Exchange filtering service and whether it was scanned, blocked, deleted, or delivered successfully. You can search for any message sent within the last 30 days. To run a message trace, you have to enter both the sender and recipient email addresses, but only one of the two needs to be a complete email address. The other can simply be a domain, which helps broaden your search. By reviewing the information in the Audit Trail tab, you can track important events that have occurred in your service. You can filter the events based on the event type and date range. You can also view events by domain, company, or a particular user using the search field. Okay, I've just walked you through the Forefront Online Protection for Exchange Administration Center. Hopefully you have a good idea about how to go about some of the most common tasks here and are now ready to start using the service. One final note, the help link in the upper right corner provides a useful library of articles that you can refer to as you are working. Alright, this concludes the series on the Administration Center. Thank you for watching and I hope it was helpful.